Tenubu's minister shifts blames to Buhari and says economy collapse before handover. Wale Edo, the coordinating minister of the economy and minister of finance, claims that before President Bola Tsenembo took office on May 29, 2023, Nigeria was headed for an economic collapse, adding that the nation is now on the road to recovery. Edo revealed this on Tuesday, February 6, when he ap appeared before the House of Representatives to discuss the status of the economy. He said, where we are as a nation economically is a much better place than we were on the 29th of May, 2023. We have heard from the governor of the CBN. He has talked about the importance of sustainability before the implementation of the eight-point agenda of the president begin, began. We were in a non-sustainable place in terms of physical solution of Nigeria. We are on the road to economic disaster. The Economy Coordinating Minister also mentioned how wasteful and unsustainable the nation's spending was during the previous government. He said, we had expenditure which was wasteful and unsustainable by the way of the subsidy, not just on four, but the subsidy on foreign exchange, which confused the incentive framework and people were chasing cheap dollars in order to make an instant profit. During his campaign, President Tenembo pledged to immediately commence diligent work and tirelessly strive to enhance Nigeria. Edo reminded Nigerians of the president's resolve to improve anyone's quality of life, even as he acknowledged the challenges facing the nation. He added, "Likewise, there have been other benefits which have accrued to, which have accrued as a result of the changes that have been made. However, inflation has increased, the cost of living has spiked, and the right from the onset." Mr. President is committed to making sure that the poorest and the most vulnerable are not left behind. The palliatives, the intervention, have been ruled out. Well, they are coming out and they are telling us super story of the century. That Buhari, of course now, we all know that Buhari has, uh, the economy has collapsed. What you coming out to say that it is on the road of to recovery. Okay, we cannot say that to... We know if we talk like that, uh, we cannot talk like that now. We cannot. We know if no fit. We, don't, we, can, we can't. Ha. You know what you're saying? Saying Nigeria is on the road of recovery. That means we don't know what they talk now. That is exactly what you're trying to say. You coming out to say this, that, that means that Nigeria doesn't know what they're saying. No, no. Things are actually not going well because Buhari don't do it. In. Buhari don't, the, the economy was bad. The economy was too, too, too bad. But this is what I'm going to see. It is not on its way to recovery. It is not on its way to recovery. No, 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 no. You cannot. You know, fits. Do you understand? We, we can't now. Coming out to say, um, Buhari, he did this. We know. Tonubu promised us renewed hope. We have not even seen the R in the renewed. Talk less of the H-O-P-E. Do you understand? We have not seen the R talk less of. Hmm. So, um, coming out to say we're on the road to recovery, people feel stone you, sir. People feel stone you. People can stone you for coming out to, t to say this. <laughs> oh my god. People can stone you for coming out to say this. They're talking about, okay. They're saying Edu reviewed this on. Edu reviewed, uh, what's it called? He reviewed this. Yes, when he appeared before the House of Representatives to discuss the status of the economy. That was on February 6th. This was happening just how many hours ago? 
and then you are coming out to say we are a nation economy where we are as a nation economy is a much better place where immediately this man come in the man says subsidy is gone abby after that what did we see we saw that the dollar before you know they floated the naira right they float the naira and then what happened price of corporate transportation skyrocket what is this man saying then we heard from the governor of the cbn we have talked about the importance of sustainability before the implementation of the eight point agenda of the president began we are in an unsustainable place so you can sustain what is going on <laughs> oh god we were on this road to economic disaster the economic coordinating minister also mentioned how wasteful and unsustainable the nation spending was during the period yes we agree oh we cannot say we didn't agree but he said we had a expenditure which was wasteful and sustainable unsustainable by the way of subsidy not just on fuel but the subsidy on foreign exchange which confused the incentive framework and people were chasing cheap dollars in order to make an instant profit then the said during his campaign Tunubu plans to immediately commence diligent work and tirelessly strive to enhance we have not seen him commence anything Atiri, he has not commented anything all right well i don't talk my own no. however inflation has increased the cost of living as right and right from the onset mr president is committed to making sure that the poorest and the most vulnerable people are left are not left behind okay you know see all this super story where they talk now you know go well for you at all you know fit you know go where you know go where because look at what they're saying they're telling him okay you are with all the respect you are you are not you're not okay sir this is because what you're saying is not true how can you come and say eh, eh, what we have before is is eh, what's it called what we have now is better than what we have before when people are actually coming out to say during that buhari time what hide what make everything hidden was the subsidy the subsidy has not been removed immediately to remove the subsidy everything became bare everything became bare All right, well, me, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Buhari's, uh, what's it called, tenure is bad, but Turnbull's tenure, coming out to say is good. I don't know who sent you people to so Mars or Pluto. All right, well, at the end of the day, right everything that is happening now eh like i said the subsidy was what was hiding it immediately the subsidy was removed everything that was hidden became bare and it has been a downward spiral journey ever since then not it did not get better did not get better right and does not have come to the end of the news we say thank you for tuning in to listen until i come your way next time enjoy the rest of your day